Yo everyone, Komi here and today we're going to talk about Yoimiya. 2.0 has been out for one week now, so most people have done the new story quest. And one of them lets you play Yoimiya. I don't think we've seen that before, playing a character that is not released yet, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, we're not going to talk about leaks in this video, but I'm going to give you advice on what to farm, what sets could be good on her, and what team she could fit in, uh, according to what we could see from uh, the trial. So let's get into it. First, uh, let's start with the abilities and build recommendations. So we are going to analyze Yoimiya's build and abilities as we could take a look during the trial. In the quest, she has 76% crit rate with one, uh, 155 crit damage. Uh, as you can see, she also doesn't have a pyro damage goblet. So it's not easy to identify her real potential with this build. But um, we're still looking at a 2k attack stat with a attack percent goblet and the new 5 star weapon, which seems a bit low. For her set, she's using 4-piece Noblesse, so it doesn't really make sense and it's definitely not the best for her, but uh, we're going to come back to that later in the video and I'm going to give you recommendations about the, the sets that could be good on her and uh, what I would recommend. As for her talents, uh, every talent is level 6 except her skill, which is uh, level 9 because she's Constellation 3 in this trial, so I'm going to analyze the constellations right after the talents as well. Uh, for the attack talent, similarly to Ganyu, she has two levels of charge attack. Level 1 is a normal charge attack and level 2 will generate up to three kinding arrows depending on of how long you charge the, the shot. These arrows will home in on nearby opponents and deal pyro damage. We, we don't really care about the plunge attack. For her elemental skill, this is where uh, she becomes really special as a bow user. Uh, it basically infuses pyro into her normal attacks. Every arrow uh, will deal pyro damage and during the duration of the skill you can't use the level 2 charge attack. The effect will also disappear when she leaves the field just like Hu Tao. And in terms of multiplier, each attack is going to deal 160% of a normal attack damage converted in pyro. So, as you can see, we probably need a Pyro Damage Goblet, uh, which she doesn't have in this trial, so she can probably deal a lot more damage than what you can see uh, on the screen. For her Elemental Burst, she jumps in the air and fires Blazing Rockets, dealing AoE Pyro Damage and applying a mark on the enemies. Afterwards, if you hit the enemies uh, with another unit, it's going to trigger the mark and deal extra AoE Pyro Damage. If the enemy dies, the mark will be transferred. So it can be really good in Abyss or Open World, the mark, the mark stays for 10 seconds though, so it can also be really good uh, against single, single targets. For the multiplayers, at level 6 we're looking at almost 200% damage. Nothing crazy, but if you proc the mark every 2 seconds for the duration of the mark, which is 10 seconds, we're looking at a 1000% damage from the burst, so still pretty good. For her first uh, passive talents, uh, while Yoimiya has her skill activated, she gains pyro damage bonus over time, 2% every hit up to 10 stacks. It's not clear if the stacks have their own cooldown or if the cooldown is refreshed every hit. I would assume I would assume the, the first option, so it's hard to get to 10 stacks. It is still free pyro damage bonus. For her second passive talent, after using her burst, the allies uh, gain 10% attack for 15 seconds, plus 1% for each stacks of her first passive talent. This is pretty good, especially if you play her with uh, supports that can provide a fill damage, as we will see later in the video. And finally, for her third talent, when you craft something in the teapot, she refunds a portion of the materials, but we don't really know uh, yet how much but that still sounds pretty good especially if you're a teapot lover and you like to craft a lot of things now let's take a look at her constellations in this quest she's c3 which is higher than what most people are gonna have so her damage are a bit boosted already from the constellations and from the four, five star weapon but i would say it compensates from the poor artifact set because noblesse is definitely not the best set for her um, her C1 is pretty good, the mark from her bursts lasts for 4 extra seconds and now Yoimiya gains extra attack when a marked enemy is defeated so it's pretty good boost uh, for Yoimiya herself and also when she's outfield for uh, the rest of your team so that's pretty good. Um, for Constellations 2 it gives extra pyro damage when Yoimiya crits uh, and it can be triggered outfield so I guess it works with the marks uh, from her burst if the mark crits 
um, your Emea is going to gain extra power damage bonus, so the next mark is probably going to do more damage, so that's pretty good. C3 just gives levels uh, on your skill. C4, it reduces the cooldown of your skill by 1.2 seconds every time you trigger uh, her burst marks. So it can probably reset your cooldown pretty fast and she would become uh, pretty good as like a quick swap team. Uh, basically, you use your Emiya, you use her burst, you swap, you proc the marks, and then you swap back and you probably have your skill back. So you can probably uh, use her quite a lot as a, as a main DPS. C5 gives level on your burst. Nothing new here. And for C6, I think it's extremely strong as a, as a C6 should be. Um, every normal attack will have a 50% chance to fire a homing arrow that deals 60% 60 60 damage. So the DPS of Yoimiya would go through the roof. Now let's get into the artifacts. Uh, her artifact set in the trial is 4 piece Noblesse, which is probably not the best for her. Um, but after trying her for a bit, here are the sets I would recommend and that would potentially be good on her. Uh, the first set is the classic one for every Pyro DPS, uh, 4 piece Crimson. Almost all Pyro DPS are good with this set and Yoimiya is going to be till Pyro 90% 90, 90 of the time, so it's probably one of the best options. Uh, second good option is going to be 2 piece Crimson and 2 piece Wonder. Um, I use that on Yanfei, I use that sometimes on Pyro DPS when I don't have good 4-piece uh, Crimson. So the extra EM from the Wanderer can, can be good, especially if you play her with uh, Xingqiu or Fischl Beidou. Uh, if you proc a lot of reaction, the extra EM is always going to be nice. It's not as good as the 4-piece Crimson, but yeah, if you don't have the 4 good piece from the Crimson set, uh, it's always nice to have that extra EM. Finally, one uh, of the new sets called uh, Shimenawa's Reminiscence uh, could be a really good option she, since she already has a lot of pyro damage built in her kit. She doesn't necessarily need the Crimson or uh, the, the extra EM from the Wanderer set. Um, with this uh, new set, basically every time you'll use your skill, your attacks are going to deal 50% more damage. With the extra attack from the, from the two piece, it should be pretty good as well. And uh, I still wanted to add this option, which is kind of copium, but um, the two-piece crimson plus two-piece of the new set uh, can be decent if you don't have anything else. You get pyro damage bonus, you get attack bonus. Uh, it can be really good. Uh, this set can be farmed better than the gladiator set, so it's going to be easier to, to get it. Uh, overall, lots of builds are possible, but the best is probably either four-piece crimson or four-piece uh, Shimenawa's reminiscence. As for the stats, nothing different than a regular DPS. You're looking for crit rate, crit damage, attack percent, and on the goblet, uh, probably pyro damage goblet. And as usual, always try to balance your crit rate and crit damage. The minimum required in the crit rate would be around 50%. If you're a little bit lower, it's not a big deal, but yeah, 50% is always the, the, best, the best one. Um, and crit damage as much as possible after you, you go to over 100. Now let's talk about the weapons. Uh, for the weapons you have a lot of options. Of course the first one is probably going to be the new 5 star weapon uh, Thundering Pulse. Uh, it's going to give a lot of attack to Yoimiya which is really good. Uh, high crit damage as well. So probably the best weapon on her at the moment. Um, but for more free to play options you can probably look for Rust which is going to give her a lot of attack as well. And since she relies a lot on her normal attack it's going to be really good. Um, you can probably, if you don't have the, the rest, you can try the new 4 star um, craftable weapon, the prototype that you get from Inazuma. Uh, it could be a really good option as well. If you're playing Yoimiya with Xingqiu or another elemental uh, support, like Fischl or Beidou, the um, Windbloom Ode could be a good free to play option if you participated in the previous event and you have it refinement 5. Every time you're using your skill, you're gonna increase your attack by 32% for 6 seconds, which is pretty good for her. So if you, if you only have this option, it's still gonna be a good, uh, a good weapon. Finally, you have all the other bows. They're all pretty decent, like the Viridescent bow is gonna give you crit rate and uh, some attack as well. So it's pretty nice. The Black Leaf Warbow is also really good with the uh, crit damage and uh, higher base attack. Um, but overall, the, the best option is probably going to be Rust or um, the new 5 star weapon. Alright, now for the team's recommendations. 
Uh, as a pairer DPS, you will probably want to pair her with uh, Xingqiu. Xingqiu always has been the best support for pyro DPS, such as Deluk, Hu Tao, Yanfei, or even Kli, and is probably going to be the best for Yomi as well. Basically, you want to proc reactions as often as possible with a normal tag infused by Pyro, and with Xingqiu, it works extremely well, because almost every time you're going to fire arrows, Pyro arrows, uh, you're going to proc the, the Xingqiu's burst, so it's going to proc Vaporize quite often. Other supports like Fischl and Beto can work pretty well with her and keep the enemies away with Overload. Every time you're gonna fire uh, your Pyro arrows, uh, if you have Beto's burst on or Fischl skill on, uh, it's gonna proc Overload, it's gonna do a lot of damage, and Doimiya has a pretty high attack speed as well, so it's gonna be pretty good. For well, male reactions, you have few options like Diona or Ganyu, but it's probably not going to be the best. Uh, my advice would be to build your Xingqiu if you plan to use your Mia. And finally, here are a few tips uh, to start preparing for her already, even though she's not out yet. And without talking about leaks, I'm going to make a few um, speculations on what talent books she needs, uh, what materials you should farm to make sure you're ready uh, day one if you were planning to wish for her. So with patch 2.0, we received three new talent books. We received the Light Talent Books, the Elegance Talent Books, and the Transient Talent Books. And we can assume that the one that Yoimiya is going to use is going to be the Transient Talent Books, as it is the one we get from her own story quest. And we already used the, the Elegance Talent Books for Ayaka. So make sure you stock up 9 green books and at least 63 blue books for talents level 6 minimum. If you want more, you'll, need, uh, you'll start needing the, the Golden Books. As for her ascension materials, since she's a pyro DPS and we just got the new pyro hypostasis boss, I would recommend to start farming the hypostasis and collect 46 boss materials for uh, the last ascension. And finally for the flowers, we don't really know yet so make sure you farm the new Naku weed and Dendrobium flowers. It's probably not going to be Sakura Blossoms as they are already used for Ayaka. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it a lot. I put a lot of effort in this one. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and uh, comment if you have any question about uh, about Yomiya or anything else about Genshin. Um, in my opinion, Yomiya is going to be a really good pyro DPS. We already have quite a lot of pyro DPS, but um, I think she brings something different. It's going to be fun to play her. She's really, really fun to, to play. Uh, after doing the trial, I really enjoyed her. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. You can, you can catch me live on twitch.tv forward slash Komimos. I do some Abyss, some random Genshin stuff sometimes, other games. Uh, you can join my Discord. The link is going to be in the description down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.